Hi guys, welcome to Closer's Mathematics class. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. In today's class, I want to talk about how to use the calculator to find the mean, the frequency, sum of frequency, and the sum of f of x, and the standard deviation and variation using your calculator shortcuts. As you know that in Colossus Mathematics class, we give you shortcuts on daily basis on how you can use the calculator very well. So in today's class, I'll be explaining how to use the calculator to solve questions like this. So permit me to explain this. So if I have a question, I have x equals to 5, 7, 8, 10 and 12. So this is my class mark. And then I have my frequency to be 3, 7, 8, 1, 3. Then your summation fx, as you all know, is 5 times 3, which will give you 15. 7 times 7, 49. 8 times 8, 64. 10 times 1, 10. 12 times 3, 36. So the summation of all these things is 22. So 3 plus 7, 10. 10 plus 8, 18. 18 plus 1, 19. 19 plus 3 is 22. Then 15 plus 49 plus 64 plus 10 plus 36 will give us 174. And as we all know that for to find your mean, the formula is summation fx over summation f, all right? So using that, our summation fx is what 174, and our summation f is what 22. So if you divide 174 by 22, you are going to get 7.9. So how are you going to use that doing the calculator? Very simple. The first thing you do to your calculator is to clear your calculator. So to clear your calculator, you click on shift and nine. So click on shift and nine. Doing that, you press, you can see clear setup, memory and all. So you click on TD, which is all. So if you click on TD all, then you click equals to, equals to again, right? So you've been able to clear your um, calculator successfully now. So the next thing to do is to go into this shortcut. And what's the first thing you do? Click on shift and mode. So click on shift and mode, you can see what I have on my calculator, all right? So after that, you can see that we have math 10, degree, gradient, science, lean x, rad, fix norm. So you click on your down button. You can see number four is now start. So start, click on four, all right? So you see frequency on or off. So you click on one and you on your frequency. So it is on, it is back to the normal way now. So the next thing to do is to click on mode. So clicking on your mode, you can see statistics again on our number theory. So you click on statistics number theory. So you can see this are particular table is one variable. So you click on one, one. So click on one. You can see that it brings out the table like this of X now. You can see that. So I have X. I have X on my calculator also. I have F. I have F on my calculator also. So now the next thing is to impute your values. And now do you impute your value? It is very simple. So click on five. So five equals to the, if you go to the next one. So the next thing is seven. So click on seven equals to the next thing is eight. Eight equals to followed by ten. Ten equals to then followed by twelve equals to. So you've been able to do that now. Now automatically your frequencies will be one 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 as you can see here. So you click your arrow your box there. And go to the first one again so you're on the first one now so you click the first one which is 3 equals to 7 equals to 8 equals to 1 equals to then 3 equals to so you've been able to do that now you can see that on my calculator you can see that all the numbers are complete now so after that click on AC so click on AC you can see your AC here so if you click on AC you can see everything go back to normal so after that the next thing to do is to now get your answers and how do you get your answers very simple so just click on shift then number one you can see sum. so if you want to get the sum the sum means if I want to get like summation f, if I want to get summation fx, I'm going to click on my sum, but it will only be giving me for summation fx. So if you click on 4, you can see summation fx, you can see summation x and summation fx. So our summation x here is the same thing as our summation fx on this our calculation. So if you click on 2 now, Automatically, it will be on zero, but you have to click on your equals to sign. So you can see that I have 174 here as I have on my 
workings also so i have one seventy four years as i have on my workings also then the next thing is to get our f which is 22 so if you click on shift again and then one so you see number five click on number five var so you click on your n your n is this f here so if you click on your n you get this your f total so click on n number one so that will equals to you can see that we have 22 so how do you get your mean how do you get your mean very simple it will be what click on shift then one again go to var number five then click on this particular sign this particular sign number four so if you click on number four so this is our standard deviation so this is our standard deviation and we all know that standard deviation is the square root of our variance so that means if you square this answer it will give you the variance so this will be the variance of this particular data all right so this is where we are going to stop for today don't forget to subscribe to this channel like and always share this video in my next video i'll be talking about how to use calculator to find the regression and other shortcuts you need to know on your calculator don't forget to share this video if you have any question you can use the comments section and i'd love to have your questions thank you very much and do have a great day